Hello students. In this video, I'll be discussing about the Gram-Smith orthoanalyzation process. Now suppose we have a set of vectors which are basis of the inner product space V. So I'll call it as B, V1, V2, Vn. This is a basis of inner product space V. Now we want to convert B to an inner to an orthogonal basis. Now for that we make use of the concept of projections. Now if I consider V1 and V2, suppose we have V1, this is V2, now this would be V2 minus c times w if you remember or this is v1 if you remember what is the projection so this here is projection of v1 or in this case v2 over v1 therefore this would be v2 minus projection of v2 over v1. Therefore, if I consider v1 as the orthogonal basis, so I need w1, w2, wn. So we can take w1 as v1 and w2 is v2 minus projection of v2 v1 which is this vector here. So with this will be v2 minus inner product of v2 w1 over w1 w1 into w1 so now w1 and w2 are orthogonal to each other now w3 will be following similar things we will have v3 minus projection of v3 on span of w1 w2 So this will be V3 minus, so here we will have V3 W1, W1 W1, W1 minus V3 W2, W2 W2 W2. So simplifying this, we get V3 minus V3 W1, W1 W1, W1 minus V3 W2, W2 W2 W2. Now we can continue this and write the remaining vectors as well. 
Now continuing this process, we continue until we get Wn which is Bn minus inner product of Vn W1 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 Vn W2 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 minus Vn Wn minus 1 Wn minus 1, Wn minus 1, Wn minus 1. We'll consider this example. So we can apply the graph myth orthogonalization process for this. So we have, we can call this as V1, this as V2, and this as V3. So W1 equal to V1. So we, we have 1, 1, 1, and 1. Now W2 is v2 minus the projection of v2 on w1 now v2 w1 is 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 5 that will be 12 and w1 w1 will be 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is 4 therefore w2 is 1 2 4 5 minus 12 by 4 one 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 so this will be one two four five minus three times one 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 therefore w2 is minus two minus one one Now W3 is V3 minus projection of V3 on W1, W2. Therefore, we get V3, W1 by W1, W1, W1 minus V3, W2, W2, W2 into w2 now v3 w1 is 1 minus 3 minus 4 minus 2 which is minus 8 in a product of v3 w2 is this is where we need to be careful w2 is here v3 is here so 1 into minus 2 plus minus 3 into minus 1 plus minus 4 into 1 plus minus 2 into 2 
so this will be so v3 w2 is minus 7 Now, inner product of W2, W2, this will be minus 2 squared plus minus 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 2 squared, which will be 10. So we have these inner products required for finding W3. So W3 will be 1 minus 3 minus 4 minus 2 minus minus 8 by minus 7 into 1 1 1 1 minus So this should be W1 inner product of W1 with W1. So this will be 4 into W3 W2 is minus 7 divided by inner product of W2 W2 is 10 into W2. W2 is minus 2 minus 1 1 2. Now simplifying this we get Twenty is the LCM here. Or in this case, this gets cancelled. So this will be equal to two. So ten is the LCM, and so we have twelve by ten minus 17 by 10 or in fact this is 16 16 by 10 minus 17 by 10 minus 13 by 10 and 14 by 10 so we have three vectors which are orthogonal to each other Now, inner product of u v equal to 0, that means if u and v are orthogonal, then inner product of u times k v is also 0, or inner product of k times u v is also 0. So, any multiple, if we have two any orthogonal vectors, any scalar multiples of those vectors will also be orthogonal to each other. Therefore, for convenience, we can multiply W3 to be 10 times W3 that we have found. So, that will be 16 minus 17. minus 13 14 so b1 equal to w1 we can write those vectors here w1 which is 1 1 1 1 w2 which is minus 2 minus 1 1 2 and the new w3 that is 16 
माइनस सेवेंटीन माइनस थर्टीन फोर्टीन दीज थ्री वेक्टर्स विल बी ऑर्थोगनल बेसिस ऑफ द सब स्पेस पैन बाय एस Now to find ortho normal basis, W one, W two, W three, given here, this is the orthogonal basis. So B one or B two equal to W one by Norm W one, W two by norm W two, W three by norm W three. This will be the orthonormal basis. We know the inner product of W one and W two. Therefore. Norm of W one will be square root of inner product of W one with itself, which is square root of four. That is two. Similarly, inner product of W two W two is ten. Now inner product of W three with W three, this is sixteen squared plus Minus seventeen squared plus minus thirteen squared plus fourteen squared, which turns out to be nine one zero. So norm W three, this is root of nine one zero. So B two equal to one by two, one 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 one, one by root ten into minus two minus one one two, one by root nine one zero into sixteen minus seventeen minus thirteen fourteen. So this will be the required orthonormal basis. In this example, we will find an orthonorm orthogonal basis and end ends orthonormal basis of one t and t square. So we will call v one as one, v two to be t, v three to be T squared. the The process is going to be the same. So W one is V one, which is one. W two is V two minus V V two W one over W one W one W one. V two W one the inner product will be integral zero to one one t into one dt that is t squared by two from zero to one which is one by two inner product of W one with W one will be integral zero to one One dt, so we get t from zero to one, that is one. So w two will be t minus one by two divided by one into one, which is t minus one by two or two t minus one by two. We can avoid fractions. By multiplying by multiplying by two, that is the LCM.
सो लेट डब्ल्यू टू इक्वल टू टू टी माइनस वन वी कैन लीव आउट द एल सी एम दिस इज फॉर कन्वीनियंस इन द फर्दर कैलकुलेशन द कन्वीनियंस इज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ इन अ प्रोडक्ट ऑफ यू वी इक्वल टू जीरो implies in a product of u with k times v is also zero so whether we consider v or kv as the orthogonal vector it is not going to make a difference that's why we might we always multiply by the lcm and consider the vector so that we can avoid fraction in the next step Now W two is V two minus inner product of V two W one over inner product of W one W one into W one minus sorry this should be V three. W two, W two into W two. Now inner product of V three W one is integral zero to one t squared into one dt. That is t cube by three from zero to one, so which is one by three. Inner product of V three W two is integral zero to one. V three is t squared. Now W two is two t minus one dt. So this will give us two times integral t cube is t power four by four minus integral t squared is t cube by three from zero to one. So we get one by two minus one by three, which is one by six. Now inner product of W two with W two is integral zero to one two t minus one whole square dt, which will be. Two t minus one whole cube by three into one by two. This one by two is because of a t my plus b whole square. This three is because of n plus one divided by n plus one. This is because of one by a from zero to one. So this is one by six into when t equal to one, we get one cube minus when t equal to zero, we get minus one cube. So this will be two by six, which is one by three. So w three is equal to T squared minus one by three divided by one into one minus one by six divided by one by three into two t minus one. So this will be. T squared minus one by three minus one by two into two t minus one. So this simplifies to t squared minus t plus. 
plus 1 by 6. So let W3 equal to 6t squared minus 6t plus 1. is 1 equal to 1, 2t minus 1, 6t squared minus 6t plus 1 is the required orthogonal basis. So for the orthonormal basis, we have to normalize these vectors. Inner products of w1, w1 and w2, w2 are known. So we need to find inner product of W3 with W3 which is integral 0 to 1, 6 t squared minus 6 t plus 1 dt. So this will be integral 0 to 1 this should be whole squared. So we have 36 t power 4 plus 36 t squared plus 1 plus minus 72 t minus 12 this should be p cube plus 12 t squared minus 12 t dt. So this will be 36 by 36 t power 5 by 5 plus 36 t cube by 3 in fact these two combine and give us 48 t cube by 3 minus 72 t power 4 by 4 this this is done so we have minus 12 t squared by 2. by 5 plus 16 minus 18 minus 6 plus 1 which is equal to 1 by 5 therefore norm W1 equal to 1 which implies W1 by norm 1 equal to 1 norm W2 is square root of W2 W2 which is square root of 1 by 3 Therefore, W2 by norm W2, this is 1 by 1 by root 3 into 2t minus 1, which is root 3 into 2t minus 1. 
norm w3 will be square root of 1 by 5 so w3 by norm w3 will be root 5 into 6 t square minus 6 t plus 1 